In his radical and obsessive self-traumatizations, Egon Schiller put his body on stage, as it were, and took it to the limits of what was anatomically possible in his facial expressions and gestures. An early highlight is the 1910 painting, Sitting Male Nude. The 20-year-old artist shows himself naked in an almost painful physicality. Not the skin, and with it the sensual surface of the body, is put on display. You're so boring. It's like you're 60 years old. Entschuldigung. Right. Okay. What would it be like to accept yourself exactly as you are, your body? I don't care how big of a loser you perceive yourself to be right now. The fact that you have the luxury of time to listen to this book and the money to buy it puts you way ahead of the game. Deep down, I know I'm a total rock star. I can create anything I put my mind to, anything, and so can you. But if you want to live a life you've never lived, you have to do things you've never done. Are you ready? You're a rock star. Yeah, you are. Come on, say it. I'm a rock star. I'm a rock star. That's right. You rock. I rock. You only have this one life. So get over yourself and take a risk. Take a fucking risk. Hello. Uh, can I get a... Um... Cookies and hazelnuts. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, no, sorry. Uh, could I add there? Yeah. Please? Yeah. Yeah. Just add I'm assuming that if you're listening to this, that there are some areas of your life that aren't looking so good and that you know could be looking a lot better. You might have great friends, but you don't even talk to your family anymore. Maybe you're living with your soulmate and are joyfully sharing your gifts with the world, but you're so broke that you can't even afford to buy food for your dog. Do not waste your precious time giving one single shit about what anybody else thinks of you. Do you want to spend... We suffer because it's useful. No, really. It's nature's way of motivating us to change. We're supposed to be slightly dissatisfied and insecure because this makes us invent things and fight to survive. But this also means that we're wired to become dissatisfied with what we have and only what we do not have can make us happy. This constant misery isn't a mistake or an evolution. It is really boring. boring. Pain in its... Excuse me? 
Uh, sorry, I'm bothering you. I, I saw you playing earlier, and I just wanted to. I just wanted to say that I thought it was beautiful. I mean, I'm sure everybody thought it was beautiful, but um, I thought it was really beautiful. Thanks. What the, what the fuck is this? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Do you think I'm a beggar? No, 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 I, I, I didn't put any in your... I, I didn't give you any money earlier. Um, I, I just felt a bit awkward because everybody had left. Yeah, but no, it's fucking weird because I'm sitting here and you're handing me money. Like I'm... homeless. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, uh, uh, oh, an asshole, it's, it's been a shitty day for me, sorry. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. I don't know, can I get you a coffee? L let me grab you a coffee. No, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Can you just, you know, just uh, wash my stuff and then uh, come, I, I'll uh, be right back. Something? Oh, I know. Fuck. Um, it's it's over. My girlfriend and I. How comes? Because I'm an asshole. I'm really fucked up. What'd you do? Slept with a friend. Why? Because <laughs> I thought she was cheating on me. Was she? Probably not. You were afraid. That's not what I said. Yeah, but that's what it is, isn't it? You hurt her before she can hurt you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, where's your girlfriend then, huh? I'm not in a relationship. So what the hell do you know then? I don't have to be in a relationship to understand. Uh, yeah. I have to go and get my things from the apartment. So... Okay. Can you come? You have plans? No. No, I don't. Been to three museums already today, so... So, let's go. All right.
Are you okay? I'm okay. That's bullshit, Alia. I hate being alone. And when I'm in a relationship, I'm always waiting for them to leave me. My boyfriend broke up with me three weeks ago. We were supposed to come out here together. I thought it was being um, strong coming out here alone. But I, I feel so stupid. Why did you break up with you? Think I'm boring. He said that, or do you think that? He said it. And the best bit is, I was supposed to propose to him out here in Vienna. <laughs> Bought the ring and everything. You know, let's just go and get your stuff. Answering. You don't have the key? Can I ask you a question? Why didn't you tell me that before? When I asked you if you had a girlfriend? I didn't lie. That's not what I said. But I mean, you could have just told me about the breakup. Then. myself all the time. I'm sick of it. And I want not to care, but it's not telling how people will react. You know what? I think the fact that he said that you were boring says more about him than it is about you. I mean, who the hell says that to people? You should be angry. But well, the problem is that you actually believe him. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sad. I mean, who the hell cares what he thinks, what anybody thinks? You know, only a straight guy would say that. What? When you're gay, you always hear what people think about you from early on. You're confronted with it. People's opinions of you. You wouldn't know what that means. Or not, I can stay with for a little bit. Yeah. Let me call your car. No, no, you really don't need to. Please. 
Um, this trip's not exactly been expensive. Not really had anyone to spend money on. Thank you for being honest with me. I'm probably never going to see you again. You never know. I might visit London someday. It's uh, not a bad city, right? Uh, it's OK. Let me uh, give you my number. Sure. Andres. Uh, Andres. With the ship. I'm Marcus. Nice to meet you. And you too. <laughs> All right, then, uh, thank you, and, uh, Good luck with everything. You too.